Community's changing and fashion's changing. So if you can wear an item of fashion that's actually making a social impact, why wouldn't you choose those brands? I'm Laura Thompson, I'm a Gundi Jamara woman. And my name's Sarah Sheridan. And we're from Clothing the Gap. We produce Aboriginal design merchandise. We're a small startup, but yeah. we're completely committed to the cause. We spent a lot of time thinking about what should we call this business, and we've gone through a lot of names in order to try and tell and express to non-Aboriginal people that we want you to wear our stuff. And when we come up with Clothing the Gap, it resonated with people that that was one way that they can engage. And as a non-Aboriginal person, I think it's really exciting to be able to produce a piece of, of clothing and fashion that everybody can celebrate. Our typical customer now is any Australian who wants to make a decision that when they purchase something that they're actually making a difference and contributing to closing the gap. We've had lots of experience producing merchandise. We love seeing Aboriginal design out in the community. That makes us feel good, it promotes reconciliation and in some small way all of us can be part of celebrating Aboriginal culture. We make the most of every day in the office and the most of every opportunity. If anyone rings our doorbell downstairs. They're coming up for a cuppa. No two days are the same. There's so much to learn. Yeah. <laughs> we're doing the HR, we're sorting out accounting, we're making sure that, you know, we're planning for the future as well because we want to be here for a really long time. Our succession plan is that Clothing the Gap will be able to support the work we do of Spark Health um, in delivering health promotion and prevention programs to Aboriginal communities all over Victoria. We absolutely love social media, so social media is something that we spend a lot of time thinking about and doing as well. So it's a genuine tool and a, and a resource for us in communicating and, and getting our messages out as well. My cultural heritage impacts me every day at work and I'm lucky that through Clothing the Gap I'm able to create pieces of art or clothes where people are able to express their identity and culture through their garments and fashion. It comes quite natural for us to be able to support Aboriginal businesses and business people. Where possible, we're always looking to employ Aboriginal people to support the work we do. There's nothing better than being able to cheer on other Aboriginal businesses as well. It's just awesome to see everybody kicking massive goals in this space. You don't have to have all the answers at once. Once you start moving through the business, you'll find the answers and that shouldn't be the reason why you don't move into that space. Yeah, and when it gets hard, just focus on that end goal. No why you're in it. So for us, it's the difference that we're making in the community every day that keeps us going. Clothing the Gap is one way that we can make sure that we're around here to keep adding this to people's lives into the future.